Engineers are looking for ways to improve textured surfaces. This includes anything from prosthetic joints to engine cylinder liners and shoes. So some crazy bastard from Drexel University's College of Engineering is studying snakeskin to inspire custom surface design. And it is, and it is, well, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. That's still a thing. The crazy man in question is Hisham Abdel Al. He's a mechanical engineer with expertise in tribology, the study of friction, and he refers to his work as bio-inspired surface engineering. It could lead to products that more efficiently slip and stick. Nature has inspired many areas of engineering and design, everything from robotics to aircraft, but tribology has been overlooked. So what can we learn from snakeskin? The engineer studied 350 snakeskins from 40 different species. He mapped and reverse engineered the skins and found that engineering research from the last 25 years pretty much came to the same design solution evolved in snakes over millions of years. I mean, this proves that evolution has nothing on humans when it comes to time to market and that humans could have sped up things a bit had they just looked at the scales sooner. Still, the work is being used to improve surface design. Collaborators in Colombia designed and tested a surface for a prosthetic hip joint using data gleaned from a royal python. Researchers in the UK are developing texturing schemes for tool inserts used in dry machining of titanium that maximize friction while minimizing residual heat in the process. And German engineers built snake-inspired cylinder liners that allow the surfaces to minimize friction whether it's moving forwards or backwards. Abdel Al will continue publishing his data sets so engineers can continue to use them, but he hopes to build an algorithm that can more seamlessly fit into the surface design process. And the dude just is into snakes. It's like Goldfinger, but just snake skin. It is beautiful, isn't it? Rugged. I'm gonna slam it all day. The US Navy just awarded Florida Atlantic University's College of Engineering $1.25 million to build motherships. Yes, they're actually called motherships. And they're gonna be autonomous unmanned marine vehicle platforms for unmanned underwater vehicles and aerial drones. The motherships will enable the unmanned vehicles to provide coastal surveillance, surveys, target tracking, as well as protect assets currently at sea. As part of the five-year project, FAU researchers will develop a multi-sensor perception, collision avoidance, simultaneous localization, and mapping system. They're calling it SLAM. Mm. What are you working on, SLAM today? Yeah, more slamming. I'm gonna slam it all day. I'm a SLAM engineer. Let's slam it. Let's get slamming. I'm on the SLAM project. SLAM! They're also working to improve low-level control in adverse weather conditions. The motherships will not only charge the drones, but also allow aerial and underwater drones to transfer data. FAU is no stranger to work with the Navy. The school's Naval Engineering Education Consortium includes work with two unmanned underwater vehicles that currently look for objects at the bottom of the sea. The benefits to using unmanned vehicles is obvious, including far less cost to operate and maintain, as well as the ability to maintain near constant awareness and coverage of the environment. I'm gonna slam it all day. Bucherer is first known as a Swiss watch company, but that doesn't mean that the company doesn't like to dabble in exotic commissions. Most recently, the company built the world's most expensive motorcycle, the Harley-Davidson Blue Edition, which took a team of eight more than 2,500 man hours to build. Oh, and it costs $1.9 million. Whew. The company collaborated with Swiss custom Harley workshop, Bunderbike which not only has an amazing name, but helped create an iridescent cruiser that has 360 diamonds, gold-plated screws, as well as a custom watch behind bulletproof glass in the gas tank. According to the company, yes, this is the most expensive motorcycle in the world. And after our exhaustive research, it looks legit. Based on the Harley-Davidson Softail Slim S, every metal element found on this one-of-a-kind motorcycle has been welded, beaten, ground, and polished by hand. Now how did they give it that shimmer? The engineers first plated the entire motorcycle in silver, and then applied six color coatings using a proprietary method. So really no firm answer on that one. But I bet, I bet it was solid. They gave us a couple, there's some clips. 
with some clips to see how they're painting it, and then boom, iridescent. Something in between there, proprietary, but good. Likely very expensive. You know that you've made it as a designer when one of your greatest technical challenges on a project was how to mount diamond rings to the hand grips. There's also a pair of diamond rings on the forks and another larger ring on the left half of the tank. You know, you might want to spring for a sidecar with like an armed guard. Though I suppose like budget really isn't a concern for you if you're in the market for the blue edition. Both the custom watch, which includes design elements from the motorcycle, and will keep time even if the motorcycle isn't ridden, which is likely the case because I don't think your day-to-day -day vehicle is 1.9, and it also has a 5.4 carat diamond ring, both of which, ring and watch, are kept in retractable safes within the tank. The gas tank on the motorcycle has retractable safes. If you can afford this, maybe some anthropological efforts. Buy the bike slash give $10 to a school. Maybe take 50% of the 360 diamonds in your motorcycle, still leaving you with 180, and give them to some sort of charitable effort. Or double the amount of diamonds, get them to put 720 in there so it blinds the poor people as you drive by on the streets. Without any other overreaction, I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.